Hello friends, how are you? Hope everyone is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number one, knowing our numbers, question number 21 to 30 of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. First section is everyday mathematics, question number 21. A shopkeeper has 423 kg of sugar. He sells 42 kg of sugar every day. So every day 42 kg. Estimate how much sugar is left after six days sell to the nearest hundred. So some 423 kg of sugar is shopkeeper have. Out of that, every day 42 kg of sugar he sells and 6 days he sells. So total quantity sell, total quantity of sugar sells by shopkeeper in 6 days equals to per day 42 into 6 that's the kg so 42 into 6 6 to the 12 1 carry over 6 for the 24 plus 1 25 so 252 kg sold by shopkeeper in 6 days so leftover quantity <coughs> equals to 423 minus 252 kg so it is 1 then it is 12 so 7 and 1 so 171 kg now what we have to do nearest 100 so nearest 100 means we have to this is ones tens and 100 so this we have to do nearest 100 so just check the digit at tens place that is 7 7 is greater than 5 so this is is it near to 100 or near to 200 so obviously it is near to 200 right and another way if the digit at the tens place is greater than 5 so we'll round up so it is 200 so answer is a next jatin deposited rupees 35,673 in his bank account on Tuesday and withdrew, withdrew rupees 3,568 on Wednesday. He again deposited rupees 24,113 on Friday. What is the total amount of money in his account on Saturday? So 35,000 something was the deposited on Tuesday this much withdrawn this much again deposited so total deposit total amount deposited is sum of both that is rupees 34 uh, 35673 plus rupees 24113 so i add up 3 plus 3 is 6, 7 plus 1 is 8, 6 plus 1 is 7, 5 plus 4 is 9, 3 plus 2 is 5. So 59,786 is deposited. And how much withdraw? So that much we will subtract. So that rupees is 3,568. So here it is 7, this one is 16, so it is 8. 7 minus 6, so 1. 7 minus 5, 2. Let's see. Here it is 218. This is 318 out. 118 out. So 218. Okay. Let's do further. 9 minus 3, 6. So here it is 0. So that means this is out. So answer is A. Always keep your eyes on the options. As you calculate, just find out, just check the options. You will get the answers. No need to calculate the 100 persons every time. Next, the distance between Akash home, Akash school and his 
home is 2 kilometer 385 meter so distance is 2 kilometer 385 meter we learn the decimal this is nothing but 2.385 kilometer every day he walks to and fro from the school so two times in a day to and from calculate the total distance covered by him from monday to friday monday to friday means five days so total distance covered by him per day is 2.385 multiplied by 2 so total distance covered by him from monday to friday is Per day it is 2.385 into 2 multiply by 5. Now 5 to the 10. So this is multiplied by 10. And we know the rule. If any decimal number is multiplied by 10, the decimal point will move towards which side? Left side or right side? So it will move towards right side. So it is 23.85 kilometer. And 23.85 is nothing but 23 kilometer and 850 meters so 23 kilometer 850 meters the answer is b this is the smart way so normally student will do first to 20 what is that two kilometer and 385 meter they multiply by two then they will find out some answer then they multiply by five and then they will get the answer and that answer will be 23 kilometers 850 but it will take a lot of time here you can just see five days and two times so just we have to multiply by 10 so it is even no need to calculate 2.385 into 10 that is 23.85 so 23 kilometer 850 straight away if you want to crack the imos in some good rank and all those things you have to be smart next 950 crank cases are manufactured every day in a particular factory how many such cases will be manufactured all together in the months of October, November and December? Assume that the factory works all the days in these three months. So first, how many days in these three months? So in October, it is 31. In November, 30. And in December, 31. So just add up. So it is 92 days. So every day, 950 cases. So how many 92? Just multiply by 92. So now 950 into 92. Two zeros are 0. 5 to the 10. 1 carry over. 9 to the 18 plus 1. So 19. Plus 1 0. Then another 0. 9 5 is a 45. So 5. 4 carry over. 9 9 is 81 plus 4. So 85. So 0 0 9 plus 5. 4, 9 plus 5, 14, 1 carry over, 5 plus 1, plus 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 1, so 7 and 8, so 87,400, 87,400, the answer is D. Next, earns multiplied 160 by 89 instead of multiplying by 79, so rather than 79 he did with 89 how much was his answer greater than the correct answer that means difference between two answer correct now average people average student will do like this you know they follow this method what they will do they will first find out the 160 into 89 some answer then 160 into 79 some answer and then take the difference that difference will be the options don't do that way that's what the average people will do average student will do okay here difference just see 89 minus 79 so it is 10 difference and if you multiply 116 to 10 it is 1600 so answer is a here also if you see we have to find out the difference so 116 to 89 minus 116 to 79 equals to 160 into if i take common 160 so it is 89 minus 79 so it is 160 into 10 that is 1600 don't calculate this and take a difference it will kill your time in the exam be smart 
नेक्स्ट एच यू एस सेक्शन एच ओ टी एस हाई ऑर्डर थिंकिंग स्किल लेट्स गो फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स द नंबर एट लैक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स फोर्टी टू राउंडेड ऑफ टू द नियरेस्ट थाउजेंड इज पी so nearest thousand means here so we'll see hundreds digit hundred digit 6 is greater than 5 so that means it was round up so 826000 now see the options p this so this this is out this is out my suggestions for such numericals or questions always keep your eyes on the options don't try to solve completely and then find out the answer maybe you will get the answer quickly no need to calculate all pqr let's see next so uh, this two are out so here eight lakhs out of both are different so any one if i solve i will get the answer so let's solve as second one estimated product of 4023 into 198 so estimated and we have to find out the product So four zero two three will be returned as four thousand, and one ninety eight will be returned as two hundred. So it is four two zero eight. How many zeros? One two three four five. So it is eight lakhs. So this this is out. So answer is B. C is out. No need to do this also. R there is no don't don't waste your time to solve R also then. you will solve p you will solve q you will solve r then you will find out which are the options once you solve first check which are out let's for understanding let's solve this c x x x i is written in hindu arabic so c x x i the biggest one is c so 100 the next is x but there is a repetition so x plus x plus x that means 30 and then i so 1 so 131 so 131 is this next the difference between the place values of 8 in the greatest and smallest four digit number formed by using the digits 3 8 0 each digit use only once so 3 8 0 5 what we have to find out the difference between the place value of 8 in greatest and which one smallest now when we want to find out greatest and 8 is the biggest number so 8 will be at thousands place so that means its value will be 8000 when we want to find out smallest 8 is the largest one so it will be at the ones place so that means its value will be 8 so difference is 7992 so answer is c smart way average student what they will do they will do like this first they will form a number of greatest that by making this digit so 8 5 3 0 then smallest smallest will be zero we cannot write so 3 0 then 5 8 then here the where place value is 8000 here the place value is 8 now they will take difference so that is 7992 this is simple way and smart way my videos are basically to make you smarter and sharper if you want to get the good ranks you should be smart and sharp rather than having a good knowledge knowledge is important i am not denying but that doesn't mean ki only knowledge will take you in this exams to the good rank along with knowledge you should be sharp and smart and that is the my purpose of making this channel next state <clears throat> state t for true and f for false rounding of 2560 to the nearest thousand gives 2000 so we have to rounding off to the thousands that means 2560 we have to round up this so this is 5 so we'll go to the next digit that is at tens place 6 greater than 5 so that means this will be round up at 1000 so it is becomes 3000 so this is false 
So see the options. A is out. C is out. False. Now here false, here true. The solve second one. See if you see, uh, see here here four. Here true, here true. If you suppose this is a true true at second sentence, don't solve second one. Find out the difference. See here there is a false here. Is the sec solve second one. If it is both true, both false, then don't solve that. Don't waste the time. Let's solve second one. Place value of 9 in 9743042000 is 90 crore. So let's see. Say in this is in crore. So it is an Indian system. We'll make a like this. So this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. Lakhs, 10 lakhs, crores, 90 crores, 100 means crores, so it is 90 crores, 10 crores, crores then 10 crores, so it is 90 crores, so this statement is true, so true means which one, this, this false is out, so B is out, so answer is D, no need to solve third and fourth, don't solve first, second, third, fourth and then find the answer, it's a wastage of time. That's what average students does. And that is the reason they can't, they can't score to the top. 1 lakh equals to 1000,000. No, 1 lakh equals to 100,000. Let's see. 1 stands 100, 1000, 10,000 lakhs. So it is 100,000. So this is false. Roman numeral for the smallest four digit is M. Smallest four digit is 1000 and for that it is M. So this is true. True. Next. If a new number is formed by interchanging the tens and thousands place digits of 8727, then what is the relations between them? So first, the number is 8727. That's the original number. If I interchange tens and thousands, so it becomes 2787. Now we have to find out the relations. This is new. This is original. So new number is greater than the original number. False. So this is out. New number is smaller than the original number. True. So answer is B. This is equal. No, can't be determined. That is also out. So answer is B. Next. Match D following. Column 1, column 2. Let's see the options. Is there any unique? So P, R, R, P. Q, S, S, S. S, P, Q, Q. So there is no unique. So let's solve first 100 crores. So 100 crores means it's a 1 billion in international system. Let's say if I talk about first uh, our Indian system, so ones, then tens, then hundred, then thousand, then ten thousand, after ten thousand lakhs, then ten lakhs, then after ten lakhs, it's a crores, then 10 crores and then 100 crores. So it is in, in case of uh, uh, international system, ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Here it is same. Then this is million. This is 10 million. This is 100 million after 100 million million 10 million then 100 million after 100 million there is a billion let's see why there is a difference oh this is 100 crore na? okay so that is billion this is ones tens hundred let us write hundred crores so crores means 10 raised to 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so in case of uh, uh, this one 
international it will be like this so it is this is thousand a hundred then thousand ten thousand after ten thousand hundred thousand so here there is a hundred thousand here this is a million ten lakhs it's a million then ten million then hundred million and then it's a billion see here uh, one stands hundred thousand ten thousand after ten thousand it is so ten hundred thousand million 10 million 100 million and then billion so it is r so i r so p out this out so a is out d is out now if you see this this is same so don't solve it's a wastage of time go for three third hundred thousand hundred thousand means hundred thousand like this so it's a three zeros so that is one lakh so 100,000 means one lakh so it is Q so this is the answer this is out so B is out so answer is C by solving only just two we can answer however if we want to solve let's solve 10 lakhs 1 million 10 lakhs 1 million so S this is S and 100 tens, so 1000. 100 tens, so multiply by 10, so it is 1000. 10 lakhs, 10 lakhs, so 10 into lakh, correct? So 1 lakh means it is 5 zeros. So it is first 100 tens, uh, sorry, once tens, 100, 1000. 10,000, 100,000 and million. So 10 lakhs is 1 million. But remember this, 10 lakhs means 1 million, 100 crores means 1 billion, that's it. So that's all about the solutions of question number 21 to 30, chapter number 1, Knowing Our Numbers of SOF Internal Science Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself, Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query doubt suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithalamacademy at the rate gmail.com. That is V-I-T-T-H-A-L-M-A-C-A-D-E-M-Y at the rate gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.